Good day, race fans. I'm on silent and we're on the air with Cart Fury Championship Racing. Well, it's the Indy 500 today, and uh, I was looking for an American open wheel game to play on the channel today, and uh, I stumbled upon this from 2000 by Midway. It's a kart themed arcade racing game. It was uh, released in 2000 using the 1999 slate of tracks and drivers from the 1999 FedEx Championship Series sanctioned by cart uh, why it has a um, model with a rather tight shirt <laughs> pretending to be a crew chief I don't know oh you can see the midway on her uh, midway logo on the bottom of her credential there well isn't that interesting anyway this is cart fury championship racing don't remember seeing much in the way of reviews for it though I'm a little worried a racing game by Midway, you know, same guys that brought us NBA Jam and NBA Hits and NFL Blitz, you know, that sort of extreme style of arcade sports games, doing a racing game. I'm a little worried I'm about to play Driven the Video Game. Not, you know, Driven, the, there's a, Driven the Movie from 2001 starring Sylvester Stallone and Burt Reynolds. God damn it, near, it did kill Cart, it did kill Cart, but it... I'm a little worried it's based on this game <laughs> loosely. Anyway, let's race! It is Indy 500 day, so let's get some racing in. So there's arcade mode, there is simulator mode, there is season mode, sub games, and driving 101. What is driving 101? Earn your I have to earn my license? Let's see whether you're a le rookie learning the ropes or an expert waiting to or wanting to improve your skills. This is the perfect place to be. Race these tracks to get a feel for how your car handles. We can do the small circle, the small oval, the modified oval, or the slalom course. Let's just do a sm small circle. What the hell? What's the worst that could happen, right? So we've got our lineup of drivers. It does not come with the complete lineup of the 1999 Kart FedEx Championship Series. What it does come up with is soon to become a team owner. Screw this, I'm going to F1! Screw this, I'm going to do a hell of a lot better as a team owner! Screw you guys, I'm going to be all y'all's bosses because I'm going to be running race control! Still can't win, Indy! If I knew what the hell happened to Christian Fittipaldi, I'd, I'd tell you, but... I got nothing for him. Not sure what the hell happened to Adrian Fernandez, either. As far as I know, he's still sort of like a liaison between perspective Mexican IndyCar drivers and sponsors. Still racing and still proof that your nose and ears keep growing as you age. Screw this, I'm going to Penske. Alternatively, screw this, I'm going to coach Fernando Alonso and take the credit. And hey, remember me? My car was featured and driven. And that's your lineup of 10 Indy car, or uh, sorry, cart, FedEx Championship Series champ car drivers. Omitted Team Penske, probably because of the Marlboro sponsorship. The players group of Forsyth, TK drove for Jerry Forsyth, but not the players of Carpanche and Greg Moore in 99, Tagliani in 2000. Try to think who else is missing. I know Penske for sure. Team Cool Green, Dario and PT. They're also missing. It's a common theme here. It's the tobacco-sponsored cars. Anyway, let's drive the Forsyth, a TK. Thank you, Mr. Announcer. Medium? Oh, wait. Right button isn't working. No, it's down. Okay, sorry. No, I have to push down to go... Go... I have to push down to go... To the right here, and then it goes down, and then up gets me back to the left there. Go figure. You'd think it would just... Anyway. Go medium for now. Automatic. Oh, and automatic. Three, two, one, go! 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 The green flag is out and we are racing! Oh, hey, Danny. Danny Sullivan. Okay, nope. I pushed, uh, I, I, in I instinctively pushed L2 to try and break there. 
Failed to stay in the center of the track. Oops. I spent a bit too much time out of bounds, apparently. So I think both of the trigger buttons, L2 and R2, are your... Are your boost buttons. Get that out of the way! But if you want to hit the brakes, you have to push square. Very, very classical, is it that? Well done, you are on your way to being a pro. Thank you, main menu. That's fine, I don't, you know... I'd rather just actually race something, as opposed to driving around in circles. Yes, I realize the irony of saying that today. Alright, arcade mode, let's start there. Sorry, Fury mode. Alright, so what have we got? We got Houston, they actually held races there back then. Long Beach. Probably Kart's signature track. I guess IndyCar now also has one of its signature races there. Hopefully that gets on network TV next year. Been there, watched a race there. In Toronto, not quite. Not quite right. The uh, CN Tower's not that close to the track, but... Chicago, they never had a street race in Chicago. Surfers, now that's a great track. California, I assume that this is supposed to be Laguna Seca without calling it that. Okay, this is Speed. I, I recognize that movie. Road America, the greatest road course in America. Probably one of the best. Pro I was going to say probably the best, and I stopped myself. It's probably the best in the world. It's one of the best in the world, for damn sure. Alpine Raceway is locked. Big Dig Boston Tunnel. No, no, that is locked because that race was cancelled before it could ever happen. Miami, they actually did run races in Miami. The Moon, I'm fairly certain they did not run a track at the Moon. And New York, uh, ignore the two towers there. Alright, let's go to Toronto. Oh, Rio, Brazil, did I just jet by Rio and Brazil? Or... No, we started at Houston. No, and it started us on the medium one. No, because Frankfurt, they never went to Frankfurt. They did go at some point to Lausitzring in Germany. Airport Raceway. It didn't look like that, but they did have one of the... They did have races on the airport circuit in uh, in Cleveland. Rio Brazil, yeah, that's about right. And Chicago Speedway, yeah. No, they both had those... Uh, those are actual tracks, actual places. Let's go to Toronto, though. Lap time of 33 seconds or better for Super Boost, and Montoya has got your number today. So, we are going to Toronto Exhibition Place. Last year I was there at the race, had seats down in turn three. I'll tell you where I about... Oh, it's raining too! Three, two, one, go! Alright, let's go. Princess Great Gates and the CN Tower right there through one and two. Long turn two. Now, just past this walkover bridge is where I would have had seats in that grandstand right there. Oh, no, there's no breaking point there. We're basically skipping, like, four, five, six. We're skipping most of the track here to get to the back straight here. Not, not the back straight. We're past the back straight. That's the state. Oh, that's the convention center right there. Sorry. That was ahead of you. I'm calling out the sights. I'm busy paying attention. They don't have those grandstands on the left anymore. They have hospitality suites there. On the left of the main straight. They don't have any grandstands down here. It's down here past the second walkway. Except that's no longer... Except that's an actual turn there. They've got old police stables here as well. I'm not sure what all the scenery is. Except that might be the stables there. It's hard to tell because, you know, they've taken so many liberties with the track. Ah, my boost is full, but I missed the super boost time. Oops, we rammed him out of the way. I missed the super boost time. Whoa, what the hell was that? He just exploded. It, it is driven. It is exactly like driven. Underneath the Dodge, the Dodge sign. Oh, Foresight. They got a player sign. Toronto, Canada in the most Canadian font. But it's just a matter of figuring out. Where's the... Oh, is that a shortcut off to the... 
Crap, I think I missed a shortcut. I'm just gonna drop. Man, I cannot hit that. No, no we won't. I've just crashed spectacularly. Number of wrecks done, number of wrecks caused, one damaged car, $100,000. I'm assuming that was uh, pre-checkered flag. Keep your hands on the wheel and try to stay on the driving line to make better time. What great advice. Alright, so what do we want to try next? We want to try sub-games. What's a sub-game? I imagine now they'd call them mini-games. Last Man Standing, Demolition, Block your opponent, time trial, follow the line, and lock on. What's demolition? What the hell? That seems to be a midway thing. Beat your, opponents. Beat your opponents. Eliminate your opponents by ramming into them. The game ends when all your opponents have crashed out of the race. Danny says, bump opponents into the wall, but avoid hitting it yourself. Thanks, Danny. All right, we are Jimmy Vassar this time out. One. Go, go, go. I've got a heartbeat. Drones, whoa, all right. Cars are just exploding randomly. I think I might have, I haven't eliminated anyone, but I, oops, I got taken out. I took myself out. But I'm back in the action, Danny Sullivan says. So it's the idea to just, oops, I crashed myself. In spectacular fashion. You were destroyed, you eliminated zero cars. I'm not very good at crashing into other cars. I'm also on fire. Help me, Tom Cruise! Tom Cruise used a witchcraft on me to get the fire off me! Alright, there's gotta be a better sub game for me here. What's lock on? I wanna know what a lock on is, because last man standing sounds like an elimination race. Demolition, block your opponent, just like you got a solar car, stay in front. Ti time trial, follow the line. I think they've got that basically in. Gran Turismo or something like that who just stay on the racing line. What's lock on? That sounds like a unique one. Lock on, lock on to your rivals and blast them before you self-destruct. Game ends either when when either the game timer or the bomb timer runs out. User brakes let cars get close to you then blast them. What the hell is this? Oh, right. There's a targeting reticle on the screen. What the hell is going on? I did not understand what that was. I was targeting and then the cars just exploded. None of that made any sense. Alright, who says we just stick with normal driving? Let's go simulator mode. I was gonna say, actually, since there's a good chance one of his cars could win today, let's let's be Michael. Now, race all 17 tracks, is, is it gonna let me pick? Prepare for the first race. Oh, it's not going to make me do them all, is it? Oh, I get to do some setup work as well. So it's an oval. There we go. Something like that. Sure, let's go with it. Here we go. Two, one, go, go. So we've got to get to a 22-7. Woo! We've got some liftoff oversteer. Oh, there's a little jump off to the left, too. In case you want to go off to the left. No boost. Oh, we've got a lot of lift off over steer. It does not want to turn unless you lift off, but the problem is it spins out if you lift off. Okay, so apparently I need some more wing in it. I grid 22nd. Well, there's only 10 drivers in the game, which worries me is how I've ended up that far back. Return to car setup, thank you. Need first place to advance. Oh, crap. Difficult to get the setup right. We're grid mid pack, so that's a marked improvement. Alright, so we need to get to first place to advance. Go, go, go! The green flag is out and we are racing! Oh, simulator mode so I don't get a boost. That makes sense. Great job! So we'll go underneath them. He's gaining ground. 
No, nope, we we were gaining ground, but we can't. Oop, there went Adrian upside down. So we got five laps. The problem is that I think I severely underestimated the amount of wing I needed. I've hit it, the wall, but no, I'm good. I'm still in one piece. So I think I can manage this, though. No, I can't. No, I can't. No, I'm missing my wings. So we've gained place. We've gained two. We'll just hop onto the brakes, scrub off a little speed, and then hit the wall. So I figured out how to drive the track on the final lap. Needed more, needed more front wing. Number of X1, damage to car. Ooh, that got a lot more expensive. Damage to car. $546,000. This is not a particularly... I mean, it's a spectacular game. In the strictest definition of the word... Spectacle. It's not a good game, but it is a spectacular game. We can go to Road America. For some reason, it's hard, but I think we'll be fine with it. Road America. It's raining here as well. Now, it's not like I haven't won races at Road America before on the channel. Underneath the Briggs of Stratton Bridge in turn two through three. Might want to use a little bit of boost. Now, do I have to? No, I don't have to break through five. Might want to think about it through six. All right. That's just going to carry you straight through to the carousel. Oh, there's a checkpoint halfway through such a long lap that they checkpoint you halfway through to refill your boost. Okay, we're going to take advantage of that. No, this, the entire game is just built around liftoff oversteer. It's not just me. Everyone's got liftoff oversteer. Now now that we've got a little confidence, we're going to make some... Oh, we got caught in someone else's wreck. No, we didn't. This is a really hard game to get some control of the car. Like this... The problem with this game... Is that it... Basically flies in the face of... How I'm so used to driving... A race car. So for me there's a lot of... Like, oops. I basically came to a stop when I spun the fair in there. That's the trick, is it's just a little... It's just different enough from how I'm used to driving that I'm have, I'm struggling to wrap my head around it. I mean, it did okay in Toronto. Well, we'll just come through for 8th. That's not great. Well, we, uh... Had only done... Half a million dollars worth of damage to the car, but proceeded to double that just there at the end. Show, can we do surfers? Let's do surfers. surfers Paradise, Australia. I wonder if it'll get any easier at difficult. difficult. I know it sounds counterintuitive. Would a harder handling setting be more my driving style, but considering the arcade driving style is going my way. So I've been to Surfers, I've not been to a race there, but I've been to the actual, you know, city Surfers Paradise. Many, many, many years ago. Oh. I got off the gas and I forgot lift off over steer. No, I went there many, many years ago. A friend of mine lived in Brisbane at the time. Actually, uh, Mr. Crimson Falcon, who I think I mentioned on the channel a few other times. He is actually somebody who, uh... Is actually does a respectable line of work. Not like me. I'm just an accountant. Ah, if I hadn't hit him, I would have been fine. That was, what, 46? It was 46 seconds was... The target for the super boost, so... How's the most optimal way of using the super boost? There 
nightmares. The most optimal way of using the super boost is just dump it all on a straight. Is it like trying to keep above a certain... You know, is it trying to fly out of the corners is the optimal way. Just try and keep yourself above like 230, for example. All right, got my teammate, Brian Erda, coming up me arse there. Phrasing, where are we doing phrasing? Oh, I've run out of super boost, and I ah, will just cross the line in second. And see, somebody out there was probably questioning my sanity. What the hell are you doing increasing the difficulty of the handling? Well, by God, that seems to agree with me just a little bit right there. All right, what do we want to do? Uh, you know, Laguna Seca that isn't Laguna Seca. Every time I do this, Montoya is selected as the rival. Go, go, go! The green flag is out and, we are and oh no, that isn't the dog leg. That is literally the Andretti hairpin and everything. Woo! That's coming out of the hole there. That is exciting. Maybe a bit too exciting. Now the question is, is there a checkpoint partway along the way? Now, there's a checkpoint partway along. Now the question is... Is this the corkscrew here? If that's the corkscrew, I mean... Laguna Sega has literally, I guess... Unless, like, it's literally a case of... We're, we're scared of copyright infringement. We're not going to include the corkscrew because that's like the one track on... You know, sorry, the one track... Wow, that is... Rid that is ridiculous. Oh, there's a shortcut off to the left there. We got to keep that in mind. Burn some of that. Unless that is the approximation of the corkscrew. Back to the right. Off the gas. Nope. We'll just dump all the boost here. I was gonna say there's the handling is just is still a little difficult. It still wants to give you a little snap. It's it's just I love this. It just shoots you down low. But we're going to take the outside line there. Why? Because I forgot to take the checkpoint or the, not the checkpoint, the shortcut. We'll bump the wall, dump some boost, get to P2. Through the corkscrew that is a corkscrew. I do love this though in real life. That long downhill left. Oh, Montoya got us. Now the question is, can we... No, we can't. I was going to say, can we hold that flat? No, we can't hold that flat. Because it doesn't let... It, when you breathe the throttle there, it just snaps you to oversteer. The problem is, is that when you let off the throttle, it does not take any of the gas off when you're coming into the turn. You're on straight. You let off the gas. No, no, no. Houston, we haven't been at. We can do Houston. Houston, Texas. All right. For the first time, Christian Fittipaldi is our rival. Go, go, go! It's a great day for racing here in Houston, Texas. Thank you, Danny. Now, I'd imagine this one... I don't even remember what the Super Boost time was. Mark we are Mark Blundell of Driven... To <laughs> save Driven fame because the star team in Driven was PacWest Racing. Oh, we've got Super Boost! Well, if you don't use it, you lose it, right? Still can't not hit the wall everywhere. Alright, what do we gotta do? Still got the Super Boost. We just gotta figure out how not to hit the wall. If we can manage that, we'll be fine. We'll get to second. No, we'll be... Nope, we'll... Burn all of that. Uh -oh, you're out of boost. Yeah, I am out of boost. I got absolutely nowhere with that. Push a little hard in the last sector. And it cost me dearly. A little damage to my car. We've gotta win a race before we go, right? Oh, let's try Airport Raceway. What the hell? Airport Raceway. Alright, I have a good feeling about it. We're driving as two-time FedEx Championship Series champion, Gilles de Farron. 
And I think the key here is going to be judicious use of boost. There's another bloody thing that looks like a woo. We've just gotten involved in a whole pile of... Like, this car is flying all over the damn place. I mean, it's very fitting for an airport. Except for right now, where we're going to go... Through the airport motel. I don't know if that actually helped any, but it can't hurt. Well, we got the super boost, so I'd say... Yes, it probably did help. So we're just going to keep doing the abusing the shortcut until it doesn't let me anymore. Oh, except for right there where it runs me into the wall. Well, we set another fast lap and it topped up our boost. Like that. Oh, we've taken P1. Look at that. It's almost like I know what I'm doing. Oh no, we've been pet. Oh no, never mind, that didn't last long. Oh, we hit Michael or got hit by Michael, but it's just not enough for him to stop us from winning the race. There we go. It didn't cause any wrecks. Sure looked like we had tried, though. Yay, winner! And this is what you get for winning, is <laughs> it? Some very unenthusiastic dancing from the background dancers. I'm sorry, who thought this was a... <laughs> who thought this was a good idea? Okay. Whatever you think is going to sell... The Kart FedEx Championship Series, I guess. Congratulations, check your player stats to see what you unlocked. Okay, what did I unlock? Alright, this is my player stats. So what did I last car unlock? Uh, last unlock car soapbox. Okay. So do I want to see what it unlocked for me then? We'll do Frankfurt then. Frankfurt, Germany. Now it says soapbox, but I don't see where the option is. for. It's like they're an up and a down, or do I have to push like... Oh. Oh, I pushed, uh, and I pushed the right bumper button, and I've got, uh, Juliana Chivoth Chiviti, never heard of her. Jenny Sheehy, never heard of her. Bill Lester, I've heard of him. He was, uh, mostly stock cars in some, mostly stock cars. He may have had a couple of one-offs in IndyCar, but I thought he was mostly stock cars and sports cars. Willie T. Ribs, he was definitely an IndyCar driver. Danny Sullivan's the voice of the commentator that we hear. Oh, and then if you push L1, then you get... You can pick Hot Rod. Roadster, oh, the old Indy-style Roadster. The future car. Uh, I don't think they've quite gotten there yet. The soapbox. Oh, woofer. Should we go with the uh, roadster then? See how that goes. Roadster. All right, let's see how this goes. But yeah, this is. Uh, we'll wrap it up on this race. It's a great night for racing here in Frankfurt, Germany. Despite being a roadster, it handles. Just, whoa, Michael's take. Oh, okay. No, in the wall. No, we're good. But the, uh, despite the fact that uh, we're in the middle of a race, I think I'll wrap it up and give it a quick review. Uh, it does not do the Indy 500 justice. does not do cart justice. I get the feeling like this is a sort of... This is a sort of thing that cart wanted. I uh, here give the sensation of these are really incredibly fast cars just fly around tracks and turns and whatnot. And I think they could have done a better job with the handling model so that way it didn't like, you know, every time you touch the gas that, or every time you let off the gas starry, that it spins the car out. Not what you want. Just take that shortcut. Like, I don't mind like the cars so fast they get air, they eventually do that in San Jose. 
I just wouldn't mind the handling. Just, just a little more realistic. And I don't, I don't particularly mind the boost and all of that. But I think that oh, you really got to be on the ball if you want to get the uh, get that shortcut. I don't even mind the shortcut that much and all. It's just it's not a very good depiction of IndyCar racing. Like the handling's all off, all of the crashing. I get you. Oh, crashes are spectacular. It's like Michael Bay directed a bloody IndyCar movie. Actually, no, that was Driven. I'm sorry. He didn't actually direct it, but it sure as hell felt like it. So I can see how Kart went out of business thanks to Driven and thanks to this. Apparently, Driven, the video game, was even worse. So we may come back and try that at some point. Oh, that went poorly. Well, I guess we're going to finish on another one of these dancing girl videos. Okay, that's a thing. All right, I guess that's it for Cart Fury. So, uh, not overly impressed with this one. 1990s Cart Racing, IndyCar Racing 2. Far superior game. Maybe I should play that instead. Anyway, that'll do it for Cart Fury Championship Racing here on the channel. Come back to more classic games in the one-shots at some other point in time. But if you want to see other one-shot games that I have played on the channel, you can check out the playlist. You'll find it down below. Of course, you can like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new if you're looking for more classic, or in this case, not-so-classic games. Share on social media, follow on social media. The social media handle is on Silent On Air, and this for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr. And don't forget, you can check out more classic games in the playlist. It's on the screen in the description down below, and more videos anytime on the channel page. And until the next time, I'm on Silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like, share, subscribe, and we will see you next time.